Hi, everybody. Richard Trum is here again at Artificial Lawyer TV. Uh, today, we're doing another product walkthrough. This time, we're looking at Kim. Uh, to tell us a bit more about it is the CEO, Carl Chapman. Hi, Carl. Hi, Richard. How are you? Very good. Very good. Good to have you on the show. Um, what are we going to look at today? And just for the viewers, could you explain a little bit more about what is Kim Document? Uh, yeah. So um, Kim, as you know, has been uh, well proven with Fortune 500 companies in a range of sectors. So it's proven at that enterprise level. What we've done with Kim Document is we've uh, productized the document generation capability of Kim um, and it's now available to small, mid and large organizations. Uh, so the objective, Richard, was, you know, having seen a lot of people struggle with document automation projects, we thought, well, why don't we just make it simple? Gotcha. So without further ado, what are you going to show us today? And I should tell people this is the first of several uh, special walkthroughs we're going to be doing with Kim. So today, what are we looking at today? Um, I think the easiest thing to do today would be just to show how easy it is to um, automate uh, people's existing documents and having done that, say, and then you can do these various things with it. But we can do those in the second or the third uh, video. All right. OK, I shall disappear and I shall let you take it away. No, oh, that's very kind of you, Richard. And thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, as you can see on my screen, um, this is Kim Document. Uh, this is Kim accessible from anyone's browser. You can literally be live with Kim document in minutes. But one of the strategies of Kim has been to meet users where they are, so to make it very easy for people to adopt it. So um, that's Kim in the browser. If you wanted Kim in Microsoft Teams, literally all you do is go to the store and actually download Kim document. So everything that I'm going to show you is seamless in your browser or available from Microsoft Teams with all the benefits that that brings. Um, so today we thought we'd just quickly show you how easy it is to automate uh, any of your existing documents. And I think that's a really important point. It's your existing Word documents. Um, you'll all have them, whether they're letters, their forms, their records, their checklists or contracts. It's you wanna be able to quickly automate them and make them available to users to either generate documents automatically or provide information. Uh, and one of Kim's key strengths is the ability to do that. So let's just take a bog standard NDA. It could be any document. Um, and let me show you what you do to automate it. So on the screen now, hopefully you can see um, a Word document. And all you do is take your existing document, your letter, your form, your record, your contract, your checklist, whatever it happens to be. Um, you make sure that it's within your existing current formatting and brand guidelines, because this is the document people are going to consume. And all you do is tag the variable fields, and this plays to Kim's patterns. So by tag the variable fields, if you look on the screen here, a tag is those yellow highlighted boxes. It is square bracket, dollar, tag name, close square bracket. So all you do, you take your existing documents and you tag them. So in the example here, square bracket, dollar, counterparty name, close square bracket. Next box, square bracket, dollar, counterparty address, close square bracket. So all you do is you go through your document, whatever it happens to be, and you tag it um, very simply, no training required, and you can do it in minutes. Having done that, you save it. Having saved it, you come to Kim Document. And on the left hand at the bottom, you see it's called Create New Application, because effectively what we're going to do, we're going to take that Word document, and we're going to turn it into an active application that can be used by anybody that you make it available to. So let's create a new application. So let's imagine uh, that we are now going to create um, a new set of documents for uh, the Germany practice. So we've got a Germany practice. They're using documents inconsistently. They can't find the right templates. Actually, we're going to put it all in one place and make it easy for them to use. So I've already saved um, that document. Uh, this say the display name here is going to be mutual NDA. I mean, this could be in German, but unfortunately I don't speak German, so um, I won't put it in German. Uh, you put in an appropriate uh, tooltip. What's the purpose of this? Um, why are people using it? Uh, what are we going to put on the wizard that's going to appear to people? Let's call it mutual NDA. Um, if you've not done 365 integration, which you can do in Kim document in two clicks, uh, this will be who it's coming from. So you know it's coming from Kim. Um, and to create the menu, if we already had the Germany practice as a group using these documents, they'd appear on this menu. They don't. So I'm just going to create a new practice area, Germany practice. And any of the documents we now automate will be available to the Germany team because I'm now going to make it available 
to the Germany sales team by literally just dragging and dropping all the recipients um, who are able to actually utilize this. Um, and then all you do is you go and find the document that we've just saved. So let's go and find that document, which is that one. And I'm going to upload it. So think about all we've done. You just take an existing Word document. You tag it, you save it, you open Kim, you put in some information, which actually creates a menu item on the left hand side so people can access it. Um, and what happens is all the areas that you've tagged now appear in this wizard on that left hand side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the web form that actually allows you to generate that document automatically uh, or that form that someone needs to complete or that checklist, whatever it happens to be. So as you can see, all the tags are on the left hand side. So let's now create the form that someone is going to actually uh, utilize. So let's drag section header. Let's add a section header. And every time you click on um, the icon, it comes up with a menu on the right hand side. These are the properties that you can actually apply to this particular tag. This is a section header, and we're going to call this Germany Mutual NDA. Um, and uh, I'm going to put it over four columns, so it goes across the top. It's a header, so I'm going to make it left aligned, but I'm going to make it medium size and I'm going to make it blue font. And by the way, it's already remembered because I use this a lot. It's already remembered my preferred settings for headings. Let's save that. Let's put in a separate section. Out of it. I could put in a paragraph up here, which actually would say um, an introduction to this particular document and why you'd use it. But let's not worry about that. Let's just put in um, number one. It's going to be counterparty details. Uh, we'll make that over two columns. Again, it's a header, so I'm going to keep it blue and uh, medium sized font. Let's save that. Now, the tags, uh, counterparty name, let's put that there. Let's just move it to this one and make it there. Let's bring in counterparty address um, and let's put that there um, to save that. Let's put in a separate section header um, and let's call this section header um, our details. Um, I'll make that two again in terms of the column width. Um, and we'll leave the headings like that in the color. Uh, I'm now going to put in the Kim signatory name. And I'll move that to there. I'm going to put in the Kim job title. Uh, we'll put in the date. Um, and I'll tell you what, just to show you some additional, I'm going to put in a paragraph over here, um, which I'll show you what we can do with that in a minute. But let's just quickly check at this moment in time. Do I like the basic format layout of it? Uh, it's fine for the purposes of the demo. So let's now put in some information. Counterparty name. I could make this box a checkbox, a currency, a date, drop down list, various other areas. Um, I'm going to leave it as a text box. Uh, it could be a drop down list you draw from. Uh, I'm going to not put a tooltip in, but you could put a tooltip in here. You could put a link to a URL, an internal system or an external system. Um, and I'm going to make it a required field and I'm going to apply it. Uh, counterparty address. Again, I'll leave it as a text box. Actually, it could be a long address. Let's make it three columns. Um, and let's make it required. Um, and let's make it 500 characters because it could be a very long address, although not that long. Let's apply it. Uh, let's go to the Kim signatory name. I tell you what, let's make that a drop down list. Uh, I could actually have a list already populated here, which I guess I could just draw from it and add it but let's just put in the list as person A, person B, person C. I mean, this will probably be general counsel, HR director, IT, whatever it happens to be. Let's just apply that list. Um, let's put their job titles in. And again, let's make that a uh, drop down list, make it required. And let's do them, let's make them general counsel, HR director, oops, HR director, uh, CTO. Um, let's save that list. Clearly, a date box means we need this to be a date. So let's make it a date. Let's make it required. We need to provide the information and apply it. And on this paragraph, I tell you what, we're at the end of this now. Let's just make it clear to people. Please submit now. And let's make that large and red so it stands out. Let's quickly check. OK, so uh, this has all been set up very quickly. Uh, I'm going to save it. I'm quickly going to uh, enable it as well. So all we've done, Richard, is we have taken that existing document, we've tagged it, we've uploaded it into Kim and put some properties in to describe the menu items, 
and we've created the form that someone's going to complete. So if you suddenly look at this, you can see you've got the Germany practice on the left hand side. It will only be seen by people who were uploaded in terms of that Germany team. Because I created it, I can now do the following things before we make it fully available. Um, I go into properties and I can now do the following. I could uh, set up 365 integration just through two clicks on this Kim document email integration. Either that'll go from my personal email address or I could set up a service account that it could go from. So I can easily set that up, which is which helps obviously in terms of distribution. Uh, I can now control uh, the way this document can be used. Uh, I am going to enable it so it can be sent by mail. I am going to enable it so people can have a Word document as, as they try, they can access the wizard and complete that. I'm going to allow them to have a Word document as well as a PDF. Uh, I'm going to allow them to check it out so they can collaborate on it and mark it up backwards and forwards. If I wanted to, I could actually enable electronic signature um, and make that available throughout the whole process. Um, let's just update that. Uh, what I could do, by the way, uh, which we won't demonstrate in this uh, video, uh, I could also use uh, our integrations to enable this document to be generated from other systems without people seeing Kim. Um, and this automatically creates the tokens that do that. But let's have a quick look. So what we've effectively done in that short space of time, I've taken that document. If you are now a member of the Germany team and you came in and you clicked on this menu item, you see you've got a mutual NDA. Up would come the form for you to complete. So uh, let's complete the form with the greatest rock band of all time without any shadow of doubt. Um, let's put in the appropriate information. Um, please submit now. What it does is it automatically takes that document. I've left the yellow highlights in so you can see that it was the document that we uploaded. It's brought through all the information that's been generated. It's laid out in the appropriate guidelines and brand. Um, and now's the good news. Now that you've generated it, you can do a whole series of things with it via these actions with full version control, any attachments. But effectively, Richard, which we can save for another video, you can send this by mail. You can share it so people can collaborate. They'd see the screen with just their record and they can share it back and forth with markups until you get to signature. Um, they can send a link um, so that actually someone doesn't see Kim, they just see the form to complete. They can create a campaign and send it to up to 2,000 people at any one point in time. They upload the document once and it's going simultaneously to 2,000 people and then you can track it. Um, or you can publish a web, web form URL link and put it on your SharePoint or any of your other internal systems. So although I've only sh shown you the, like the back end of it, effectively, you can see what Kim has done. We've taken our globally proven document generation capability and made it so simple for any organization to effectively automate its existing documents now. And if you think about it, the requirements are actually the Word document because the fields, the variable fields, the counterparty name, the renewal date, the response to that uh, compliance questionnaire, that request form for support, the data in there is the requirements. Now you can automate it and make it available within minutes. Fantastic. Thanks, Carl. Really interesting. So in terms of sort of more complex documents, obviously a, a, an NDA with a relatively small number of fields, you know, we did that as a demonstration. Um, the people who might be looking at very long and complex documents like a, an MSA, that kind of thing, will, will this work in the same way? So this has got a very clear focus. So this is not Kim Enterprise where we're doing exactly that. We're creating three, 400 page documents on the fly through very complex assembly. This does deal with actually quite complex documents, but the main use cases for it are simpler, high volume letters, forms, records, documents, contracts, statements of work, proposal documents. So it has got that some of that complexity in there, Richard, but it's deliberately positioned to deal with this end of the market because it's priced it's priced to actually be um, very cost effective. Because if you think about um, what I've just shown you in terms of creating that NDA, if you imagine that NDA was created by me, imagine if in the Germany practice there were 27 uh, colleagues and imagine they use that NDA with 5,000 clients. The way the pricing operates is no client, the 5,000 pay a license fee, none of the Germany sales team, the 27 pay a license fee, the only people that pay a license fee are the people that automate the documents. And that starts at £140, $140 a month. Fantastic. So how, if someone's looking at this and they'd like to get their hands on it, how do they, how do they implement, install Kim documents and how do they connect it to their prior uh, contract record? Yeah, good questions. Um, so getting started couldn't be easier. You literally could go to the... Um, Microsoft store and download it from there. 
um, into Teams, or you could go to the Kim document website. So www.kimdocument.com, press on try now for free, and you've got two weeks free to test it. And literally, you can select whether you want it hosted in the UK, in the US, or in Europe. Um, and you would have your instance of Kim up and running within minutes. Uh, in terms of the records, the final records, um, of course, a lot of our customers have their own repositories and they want to be able to push the final records through to whatever their repository has to be. And that's not a problem. We do that through the Kim APIs. Gotcha. And just to clarify, so you could download this from the Microsoft Store, did you say? Yep, absolutely. And you can go straight to the Kim document website and you can take download it now. You can you can access it now. And in fact, you're not even downloading it because effectively it's sitting there hosted by Azure uh, or it's in Teams and actually it's sitting within your existing infrastructure accordingly. Fantastic. And uh, just last question is in terms of connectivity to other systems, um, how, how does that work? Yeah, you can see why I mean, with, with what we do at the enterprise level, you can imagine we've got a very strong uh, REST API layer uh, and integration suites, and that uh, API layer uh, applies here. So within Kim, you probably saw in the section where I went into setting up the application, there is an integration layer where you can generate all the appropriate tokens for inbound and outbound uh, integration. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Carl. Really fascinating. And I look forward to the next uh, installment of this. Uh, but uh, suffice it to say, thank you very much. And speak to you again. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thanks, Richard.